What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Seder Jam 2017. My name is Splattercat, we are playing Diluvian and we are inside of a big glass bubble. Hooray. We need to talk to our torpedo guy. We had finally made it to a new map, which I didn't even realize was going to be a thing. I did feel like the main map was a little bit small. I totally thought that that right there was something on my screen. I tried to scuff it off. I was like, what is that? Get off my screen right now. It's not on my screen, it's in the game. So you're leaving then. Oh, don't act like you didn't know this was a short-term deal. You know what, though? Crew's all right. So I guess he's out. He's no longer with us. We've got a centralized location. So who are the houses? House Spirits and House Kuberi are the strongest around. They used to be other houses like House Morgansan, but they were destroyed by others of their own infighting. Well, that's probably good to know. Oh, this guy's selling stuff, too. The Fountain Tour Guide. You got any maps? Of course. They're free for all visitors. Oh, good. So we got a... That was a hundred bucks, fool. You said it was free. A hundred bucks is definitely different than free. Alright, Captain, be on the lookout. I'm hearing something big. Yeah, it's probably that big bastard of a ship. That ship, what's she doing here? Oh my god, torpedoes coming in quick. We are being bucked on. Boop, 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 boop. Do I not have torpedoes right now? Oh my god, angler torpedo to my asshole. Let's go ahead and give me a little gap in between me and it. So that I have time to react to some of the fire we're going to be taking. I'm going to dive down. We are landing shots, but it's landing shots better. Shoot down that torpedo before anything else horrible happens. Full speed ahead. The Morgan's Tear. We are too far out to really do much right now. I'm going to give the guns a moment. I'm going to wait till the next torpedo. I'm going to put people on repairing the ship. There we go. So that's down. Go ahead and give me captain's time. We aren't going to need a ton of repairs lined up right now. Come about. Now go ahead and get rid of the torpedo. Repair kits are low. Duck below that fire right there. Release a ping so that I have ping lock. It is not letting me lock torpedoes, unfortunately. I don't know exactly why. But you know what? I'd rather just not think about it. Did we get it? Oh, it left. We had to fight it. What the shit? Getting attacked by weird submarines that look way more aesthetically pleasing than ours? Not okay. Hit slow. Captain, help. What does she need? Cat appears very concerned. Captain, please, that ship! That last hit we took dislodged one of the beams. Oh, shit. He's got a pipe through him. He's pulling a wash right now. Do not move that beam. If you take it out, he'll bleed to death. But Jay, oh, do you think you could hurry up here? Cat, keep the beam steady. Uh, there's a town called Burston nearby. Get us there as fast as you can. What if we don't make it in time? Stay focused, sailor. All right, so let's put people back on duty here. <laughs> duty. All right, so we've got limited time. We've got somebody that's been impaled on a beam right here. Probably not going to be the next... The couple hours of his life are probably going to be the worst. The next couple. Just not a good time to be in. I've been stabbed by stuff. It sucks. It sucks hard. Although it doesn't hurt until you pull it out. It doesn't hurt. But I'm talking about like nails through feet and stuff like that. Getting all Jesus mode. Keep the beam steady. Wiggle flaps. Wiggle flaps. That always helps. Captain, he looks pale. More power to engines. We can see it on the horizon. Burston's coming up. Please, Captain. He feels cold. We're coming into Burston now. Don't let up. Bring her around. I mean, all things considered, we made pretty good time. All right, Jay. Where you at, buddy? You all right? Let's find some help. Yeah, he's dribbling blood out of his mouth. That's normally not a good sign. Need some help here. I'm not a doctor. Hey, that looks kind of bad. 
I don't care what you are. Show us to the doctors now. I'll arrest you for breach of hypocritical oath. You what? What is all this noise? Oh my god. Jay? What happened? You. There, help me get this boy upstairs. Yes, ma'am. Rosie, tell me you can help him. I can't promise anything, but we'll do our best. Man, we can't lose a torpedo. Oh, that's why I couldn't fire torpedoes. We lost our torpedo, dude. So Jay's got nothing for me. Hey, uh, aren't you... Yes. Wow, I grew up learning about your career. What happened to you? Now is really not the time. All right, your injured crewmate. I'm sorry about that. Cat, I need you to cool it. Hey. Hey. What are you doing in there? You better save saving his goddamn life. Get away from the door this instant, young lady. Well, at least we know our crew cares about each other. That's always a good sign. We've got another captain's charm, too. I wonder if they stack. If they don't stack, I'll probably just sell the other one. So you're a friend of the uptight guy with the wounded crew member. Who, Jay? He's not so bad. You're with his crew. Are you staying in the area? Yeah. Only while Gregory's so ill, but we're on a big adventure. Bounty hunting? I guess we could be doing some of that, sure. Uh, so who are you exactly? Let me get you another drink. At the sea, as the sea level rose to claim the land, so too do we commit this young man back to its waters. We send with him our wishes that he shall pass safely through the endless corridor to the next life to join with the deep and become one with the great ocean. Oh shit, he died? That sucks. He was nice. I liked him. Everybody else was a little rough around the edges, but I liked him. You know, you are a good sailor. Never change, you hear me? How many drinks have we had now? Not enough. Barky. More ale. I hear that. This is all my fault. I pushed him into staying on the ship. He was only there because I told him to <gasps> stay. He was his own person, Cat. But I, uh... The only thing you should be blaming yourself for is that goddamn Morgan's tear. Tear. Which makes this my fault. Morgan's tear. I don't understand. Jay? There have been other attacks near here? We keep getting reports about a ghost ship seen nearby. It's a sub that disappeared more than 10 years ago, so why is it back now? You want to join up? Well met, Captain. Can I ask if your ship requires salvation? Two intelligence and two strength. And a taft. Yeah, sure. Why not? Might be useful. Might be helpful. I can always tell at my house when a train's going by because the floor rumbles. Like, you can't even hear the train, but if your feet are on the floor, you can feel the rumble. <laughs> I live next to train tracks. So, Cat's drunk. Yeah, we can have a look. I don't think we have anything to sell, though. I doubt it, anyways. I mean, not a lot of cash around, either. Back to the grind. And now we're doing it without a ping, too. And ping is one of the most useful utilities we have. Well, we need a new sonar officer. I know, Captain. Hard to imagine anybody else in Greg's chair. Sonar Guild Spirius branch isn't far. Let's see if anybody's looking for some field experience. So what's the Morgan's Tear? This can't be right. The Morgan's Tear was Victor's ship, and that was wrecked years ago. Victor, he went down with his ship. I'm going to guess that he's from House Morganson, the destroyed house. And that the Morgan's Tear was part of that. Well, without a sonar officer, we ain't sending out a whole lot of pings, so... That's a utility that I utilize really, really heavily. And in fact, you have to have it in order to get some things done. Let's see if we can pick up a new officer. We do have a map now, which is good. It's really, really good. Circle of Pillars, Fountain of Honor, and Burston, so we're up here. And we are bearing due west. West, southwest. Yep. Okay. Well, hope for the best and cross your fingers. This underwater adventure stuff is dangerous. We also have a big ass ship over there. God, I don't like the look of that thing. Wow, that is one big tin can. 
Yeah, I assume that's maybe a destroyer or something on behalf of one of the houses. Like one of their battleships, maybe? So the Morgansan ruins. This is apparently where House Morgansan used to be. Without a ping, I don't see anything useful around, but we did get a save, so that's good. Let's go ahead and dive a bit. Seems like our trajectory is going to be headed down in just a moment. Down, dooby doo, down, down. Comma, comma, down, dooby doo, down, down. Why are there two commas after the second down, though? I mean, I guess it would count as the third down if you count the first one that he says at the beginning. That looks like a research pod. Slow up. Let's see what it's got for us. Maybe it'll have something useful on board. At the bare minimum, it'll get the air tanks topped off. What is this place? It's a special place. Place that could be your very own base of operations. I'm waiting for a captain to serve, and if you got enough cash, that captain could be you. Upgrade to home base one? Yes? Oh, shit. That was super awesome. We have a base now. Does it show us? Like on the map where our base is? Oh, no. Or are those like defenders of my base? I wonder if those are defenders. Dude, if we have our own fleets of defenders, how sick would that be? That'd be what's up. I see something over here. I'm going to spend a ton of money upgrade. I love building bases. This is how I lost a ton of time in Fallout 4. Building bases is way too entertaining for me. I like doing it a lot. So my guess is that that's our destination right there. It seems to be a place of refuge. Let's see what's left and what we can do with it. Oh, they've got like little spires and houses coming off the top. That's cool. So we are in twilight fields right now. Twilighty fields forever. So what have you guys got going on? We've got another sailor. What do you make here? We make only the best for our spurious clients. Each of my staff is trained by a culinary expert. However, we are dependent on trade routes to obtain supplies. Oh, so you guys are... Okay. Ooh, a heart pendant. Endurance and intelligence. I'll take them both. Yes, please, sir. Nope, I don't want to store that right here. But this should get us lit back up with our next path. So there we go. We're almost at crush depth. We can only go down to like another 100 meters or so without starting to live really, really, really precariously on the edge. But that'll be all right. I wonder what happens when we upgrade that base back there. I bet it gets all kinds of vendors and stuff. Oh, shit. There's the wreckage of like a big-ass ship over here. The wreck of an ancient sub. Well, what kind of goodies might be on board here? Pretty good collection of torpedoes. And me without my pings. Alright, well stay moving. Let's go ahead and give them some overdrive to put a gap in between us and them in case they fire a torpedo or whatever. Got a bit of a cross tide right there. But with some full engine magic we should be able to push through. There we go. And I bet we're going up to that little dome right there. Till I get a sonar officer, I'm not in the mood to fight with anybody. So you're going to see me being very, very cowardly right now. Trying to duck behind things. So there's a dock point right there. Hopefully this is what we need. Alright, so a new sonar officer. Hello. Hey, sir. I'm Master Farsteer. How can I help you? Your apprentice, Gregory Hudson, was killed in action during an ambush. Why, you're rather frank. It's so sad to see such an excellent mind extinguished by unnecessary violence. Indeed. Gregory did a wonderful job as my crew sonar officer, but without him we'll be needing a replacement. Is anyone here looking for practical experience? 
My students are free to seek extra employment wherever they see fit, so please feel free to ask around. Thank you. Looking to hire a sonar officer. Don't me wrong, I'm sure you're a fine sailor, but I'm not keen on going out when the Morgan's Tear is on the hunt. Oh, good God. Long time no see. Oh, it's you lot. There's no way in hell you're setting a single toe on board our ship. I'd rather drink the ocean. You seem to be under the impression that you have any say in who your commanding officer hires. Cat. Don't you cat me. You saw how she treated Gregory last time. Cut the crap already, you overblown bullfish. You need a sonar officer, and I'm the only one here looking to leave this scrap heap. But you... You're such an overblown bullfish. Did you seriously just use the exact same insult as me? Cat. Back to the ship. Ugh. She's right, though. All I can see happening is you and her constantly arguing. It's not good for ship morale. So... Look, if you tell anybody that I said this, I'll ruin your reputation, but Gregory was better than me. Now I'm in a guild where everybody hates me and I need out. Please. I'll let you have a probation, but if you stir up trouble, you'll be out the airlock before you know it. Guess that's fair. So there it is. We have Allison on our ship right now. You looking for a job? Not really, mate. New girl keeps complaining about being here, though, so maybe she'd be up for going with you. Ooh, hey, we found a bicep pendant. Cool. We found a captain's charm and a spurious chart. Good. It did look like there was other docking locations over here. And now, we actually have the power to ping. Where to now? Well, you're due at the Spirius Banqueting Hall. I won't be joining you. I've had some bad dealings with House in the past. Okay. I was expecting more explanation, but sure. Oh, all of his people are not assigned. Yeah, the few sailors that he had. She does not look happy about this job. So we lost our gunner crew. We'll get them going first. And then I'm going to go through and anybody that isn't perception and strength... So, Anna Taft, you're out. Was Anna Taft good at anything? What is Anna Taft good at? Anna Taft is intelligence and strength, which I think makes her a torpedo officer. I think. So, we'll just leave Anna Taft out for right now. In the meantime, we should also use some of these little icons. So, we've got a intelligence increase that will go to Jack as always I'm gonna max out characters to kind of see what happens well there you go strength of perception back up and as he gets maxed out I don't know what the maximum score is but if we can have one person who's just really really good at certain things or everything we can have an all-arounder doing his thing we've got the spurious dome over here I'm going to suggest we check all of these just in case there's loot or anything else that might be useful. We need to memorize all the NPCs, too. Anybody who's available, essentially. There's a sailor who might join up over here if we had any money. Alright, so our goal is up to the top. And it actually looks like there's a lot of little locations we can check out over here. Let me slow forward. And we will pull into the Adventurer's Guild here. Or not. It looks like it wants me right here, but shit, what do I know about anything? Oh, the banquet hall's up there. Okay, we're good. I found it. Never mind then. Banquet hall's up top. Anything that's lootable around here. Cartographer Guildmaster, what do you do here? It's our job to chart the ever-changing seas. What with all the ice falls that the fjords have been experiencing, our skills are much in demand as they've ever been. I would be most grateful for the help. We give rewards to adventurers who can provide us with information on landmarks and help to update our maps. Please see my secretary for more information. Okay. So which one's the secretary? Some dive suits and things down here. I have some new discoveries for you. That's fantastic. Bring them here and I'll provide you with the reward. Oh, wow. 
Okay, well, we've got a little bit of money now, so that's good. What's this guy got going on? Intelligence and strength. I think intel and strength makes him a torpedo guy, so we'll take him. We haven't found a new torpedo officer yet, but I assume we will at one point or another. An embroiderer. I put the finishing touches on decorations before the clothes go on sale upstairs. Each of these dresses is worth five times what they pay me. Yeah, well, ain't that the way life always seems to work. That guy's got algae. I don't know if I want to talk about algae right now. Katarina Jafari. Endurance and strength. So she could be yet another helm officer. Heard anything about the Morgan's Tear? What, that old nonsense? It's a children's fairy tale based on an old ship that was wrecked years ago. Been quite a few ships gone missing the last few days, but it's most likely to be pirates creating trouble again. Okay. Well, we made some money. That's a plus. Wasn't expecting to get a big cash infusion right now. So I will take it. Hope that ship isn't hostile. Really trying not to get pelted with bolter rounds right now. If you don't know what a bolter is, it's basically a missile launcher. All right. So let's look around for anything that'll make some money here. Ooh, barrels and barrels and barrels of dinar. That's what I like to see when I roll up into a place ready to rob, steal, and take everything that isn't nailed down. Athena Spiria. So yeah, that looks like a girl who both enjoys the drink and has quite an attitude on her. Contestants, you are welcome, one and all, to the great House Spirius. I am Athena Spirius, the head administrator. Today, you undertake your next step in reaching new depths. Thank you, Athena. I'll take it from here. Leave it to a Spirius royal to suck the fun out of an adventure, am I right? When I started out as a young captain taking part in this very competition, I knew I had everything to gain. Of course, you all know that I was forced to give up my race to glory to save the lives of my fellow competitors, but you all still have the chance to go on and become the first to reach the Endless Corridor. And don't forget to visit my store in the shopping quarter. Competition members get 5% off. If you're quite done with the sales talk, in order to build up your reputation, it will be mandatory to complete at least four bounties before you'll be allowed to take part in the next qualifying round. I will base... It will be based in the Adventurer's Guild for the duration of the stage of the competition should you have any questions. Or I will be based, I guess. It's better than being debased, I suppose. Good lord, they're feeding us servant food. Just when I think you can't get any more conceited. Uh -huh. Why does she have a Tommy gun? And why is her hat made out of shotgun shells? I'm a big fan of your metal work. Any chance you're taking commissions? I only smith for myself now. Unless I have another incentive, that is. Keep dreaming. Where did you sail here from? Crevasse Edge, down the abyss. It'll surely go past when you sail that way. What did you do? How did you do in the first round? I worked six months in the abyss and spent most of a giant crab wrangling. It was easy. Hey, whatever you say, champ. No questions from me. What's your best selling item? What you got down in here? A Mystery 2 emblem. So it looks like I can put like stickers or something on the sides of my ship. Do I need more captain's charms or is that something that I only need like one of? I don't know if they stack, so screw it. We have a ton of dinars. I see no reason to carry those around with us. We could probably find a better deal on selling them elsewhere, but... Hell, we're almost up to 20 Gs. 20 Gs. This is for the Gs, and this is for the Hustlers. This is for the Hustlers. Now back to the Gs. So, what's next? You'll want to head over to the Adventurer's Guild. We need to get some bounties under our belt. And with that, I'm going to call it a day. My name is Splattercat. This is Delubion. You want to get the game for yourself, check it out down below. Otherwise, I'll see y'all later. Bye, everybody.